My name is Philbert Ferdinand. I'm still 17 years old, so please don't call me Mister. Just call me Philbert. And in my whole life, there are two experiences that I really do pr uh, proud of myself. The first one being the National Science Olympiad. And on that competition, like I was able to do my best, and I got lucky. Yeah, I got lucky and managed to bring back gold medal for my school and more importantly for myself. And because of that, I was sent to represent, yeah, you, as you guys have heard, uh, Jakarta or Indonesia in International Olympiad of Metropolises, which was held in Russia. Yes, free flights to Russia, that's good. And to give you a brief overview, yeah, uh, take a picture uh, on your left. That's what you guys might be thinking of, what we're learning in math. No, the truth is, what we're learning is, yeah, like the picture on the right. So on those competitions, we were given four and a half hours without no break, just to solve three problems. And if you cannot, say bye-bye. So maybe what you're looking is, oh, there's a circle, there's a triangle. What should we do? Uh, even I don't know. <laughs> but. but that's mathematics. And next. I want you to ask you guys here, all of you guys, please take a few seconds and think, ask yourself, what does success mean to you? That's right, what does success mean to you? Like, for example, for me, for me, success uh, cannot be achieved. Wait, cannot be achieved? Yeah, it's true. That's the definition of success for me. And why is that? Because, for example, I'm starting at point A. And what I think of, of my definition of success is point B. But once I reach point B, no, it's not my success. I can still go and go on. So my success becomes C. And it keeps going on and on. And even though you keep becoming a better you, Truth is, your definition of success might be different and it might get also higher and higher and higher. You set the bar higher and higher. And what we can learn from that is we're getting better and better. You're becoming a better and better you over time. So since everyone's definition of success could be as simple as like making a lot of money, making my first million before I turn 30, or spread the love to the world, like give these children some love, or even as academic as getting into the top university. Uh, what we can learn from it is, since everyone's success is different, why would we listen to someone? If someone tells you like, hey, you should go down this path, this will lead to your success, wait, who are you? You're not me. And we're different people. Our definition of success are different. So why should I follow the path that is set for me? No, of course we shouldn't. What we should do instead is follow the path that we, you feel like doing it. We feel like we want to do it, so we will do it, not because someone tells us to. And that brings me to my top three golden rules in order for me to stay motivated. Why is that such an importance? Because, like, you guys have heard of the word support, right? Support from your friends, families, from your mentors, from your school teachers. Yes, they're really, really important. But the most important one is support from yourself. How can we support ourselves? That word, motivation. And my three golden rules. The first rule is self-image. So the guy on your left, his name is Napoleon Hill. He's very, very famous and well-known for his book, Think and Grow Rich. And he's also famous for his well-known quote, which is, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. 
That's where self-image comes from. So the definition of self-image is simple. Close your eyes now and think, who do I want to be? Which person do I want to become 10 years later, 20 years later? Oh, I want to be in my, in a fan, in my fancy house, in my luxury car, together with my beautiful wife, for example, like that. And that's your self-image. And why is there such an importance? Because when it comes rough times, and yes, rough times, it will happen. Your, li your life is not that good. And when it strikes, we have our internal support. So I want to become this person. So why should I give it now? Of course not. You should support, you should push yourself more. And from self-image, uh, actually there are two things that we can do to get a better definition of our self-image in a positive way, of course. The first one being is to surround yourself with people, those you think, who do you really want to become? Because like people say, you're the average of five people that you spend your most time with. And because of that, if we spend most time with those positive people, those we want, uh, of course we get an insight of their career paths, of their mindset, and it will influence the way you are right now in a positive way. And in the end, in the end, you'll get a better self-image and you'll work harder for it, knowing that you can really achieve it. And the second one is as simple as saying two words. It is, let's go. So like every morning when I, like for example this today, when I woke up, out just out of my bed when I was still sleepy, huh, I directly go and say, let's go. I'm gonna crush today. I'll do my best. Whatever happens in the end, it doesn't matter. Because just by saying these two words, let's go, it will re-energize yourself. It will fill yourself with positive vibes. And it will help you to go on through the day. The second one is the 80-20 rule, also uh, known by the Pareto principles. So like you can read, the 80-20 rule is a rule of thumb. It states that 80% of outcomes can be attributed to just 20% of all causes for given events. Actually, for many events. Yeah, as you can see, it's very, very famous and well-known and still used currently in many business and many other fields also. 80% of sales comes from 20% of customers. 80% of productivity comes from 20% of activity. For example, how long do you spend with your phone? If I spend five hours with my phone, which is very, very common with teenagers nowadays, is the truth is it could be only 20% of the time you spend with your phone is productive. That's the truth because we're addicted to social media and many other things like YouTube. And even the 80 per 20 rule also applies to when measuring fr frustration, like 80% of the mistakes are often made by just 20% of the employees and many, many more. And to get a better insight, what we should do with this Pareto rule? Actually, if you guys think more, all we need to do is just to identify those 20% that will give me the 80% of the outcome. And that is called the vital point. And how do you do that? Just by tri trial and error and keep going on and on, you'll finally, in the end, identify those 20% that will lead to the most result. And hold on, guys. It's the last one. Rule number three, to give back. Yes, giving back is important. Truth is, we have learned this since we were still young. Education is a gift that keeps on giving. Like, you were taught to do something, you were taught about manners, we were taught about, about academic related things since we were just a normal kid, since I was just a boy. And now, it is our time, young generations, to give back to the world. And it could be as simple as, hey, you want to learn to drive? Maybe I can teach you. It could be as simple as that. Why? Because we're influencing other people in a positive way. And imagine if every single person in this world they apply this rule, and in the end, this world will be a better one, which is what we really 
one. And the second one is, it is very easy and simple to remember. It is the 33% rule. So you should spend 33% of your time with people, those above you. Those above you, for example, mentors, parents. Why? Because they are the positive vibes that you want to surround yourself with. The other 33% you should spend with those who are amongst you, your level, like your peers, your friends, who you used to go on and chat with every single day. Why? Because from that, we can learn and get an, well, a better insight of where I am at currently right now. And the rest 33%, you need to spend with those below you. Why? Because by spending the other 33% with those below you, you bring impact and betterment to those people's life. And their, if their life becomes better, so does yours, of course, because you'll feel happy. And to close things off, there's a famous quote for, from Denzel Washington, and it said, at the end of the day, it's not about what you have or what you have even accomplished, but it's about who you have lifted up. So the 32% that you lifted up and who you have made better, and it's about what you have given back to this world. So spread the love. Thank you. My name is Wilbur Ferdinand.